Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we're trying a new Ardla skin tint. This is the Veil Hydrating Skin Tint from Hourglass. And I gotta say my first impressions when I took a look at this product was that the packaging looks very, very cheap for a skin tint that is $49, almost $50. And this is the packaging we get. Personally, I'm a little disappointed. However, I do have very high hopes for the formulation of the product in here. So in today's video, I will of course be testing it out on my desert dry skin. I'm going to be doing a wear test and I'm going to tell you whether or not I think it's worth it. If you're excited for today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. So let me tell you about the Veil Hydrating Skin Tint Foundation from Hourglass. This is a lightweight skin tint that boosts moisture levels by up to 52% for a dewy glow and provides a sheer veil of coverage for comfortable all-day wear. It has a light coverage, a radiant finish, a liquid formula, and the highlighter ingredients are meadow foam seed oil, which replenishes with nourishing fatty acids to strengthen skin moisture barrier, God notes I need that. Hyaluronic acid, which attracts water to pump skin with hydration. And plant-based squalene, which protects against moisture loss to help retain skin's natural radiance. All of that sounds good. This is free of parabens, phthalates, mineral oil, and triclosan. And it also is vegan and cruelty-free. The formula melts quickly into the skin, providing a comfortable all-day wear with a sheer veil of coverage to diffuse imperfections and visibly even skin tone all while plumping and smoothing your complexion that definitely sounds for the most part good i am a little bit concerned about the sheer coverage because as you can see i have some redness on my face that i would like covered so we shall see how that works for my skin prep today i did already put on my moisturizer which is the charlotte tilbury magic cream this is what i use whenever i try a new product because i love it it works amazingly for me and it is a moisturizer that doubles up as a primer as far as the color that i chose for the skin tint i was debating between shades six and seven and as you can see i ended up going for seven because it looked a bit more neutral to me We'll see how it works. I think one of my main issues with Hourglass Complexion products is the fact that I can never find the right shade for me. This is a very lightweight, sheer skin tint. So even if this is a bit darker than my complexion, I'm thinking it'll blend in nicely. I actually have high hopes for the color that I chose, but we shall see. One more thing I wanted to share with you is that I have seen some other content creators that are friends of mine try this one and I think it seems to be working for everyone I've seen so far. I actually haven't watched their videos because I don't want to let myself get influenced by like other people's opinions, but I've seen like the thumbnails and like the post on Instagram stories and whatnot. And it seems to me like from what I've seen so far, this new Hourglass skin tint has been having a positive recibimiento welcome like people have been reacting well to trying it so we'll see let's take a look at the color and consistency it's actually a bit creamier than i expected i expected it to be a bit more liquidy and as far as the coverage i think it might have a bit more coverage than i initially envisioned as well the color I chose is definitely very, very neutral, which is what I wanted, um, but it is darker than my skin color. However, I feel like if it matches my tan, I'm happy, and it seems like it does. Okay, let's try it out. <laughs> I'm just going to add a bit right here and a bit right here, and I'm going to blend it out with my It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. Let me start with this side. This feels almost oily. Yeah, that's why it's a little bit more creamy than I expected. I expected more of a watery consistency and this one feels almost a bit oily. So I don't see anyone with oily skin loving this one to be honest. 
because it feels a bit oily even though it is a radiant finish product i have to say it's like a natural radiant finish it's not making me look super reflective which i can certainly appreciate <laughs> And even though I can still see my redness through the sheer coverage, it looks much better than it did at first. And by the way, if we are shade twins, I think the color 7 works for us. I was being very critical of my color choice, but look, it even blends nicely into my neck area here. So I like it. I like the color 7 for me. I think if it were any lighter, I probably would have been upset. It's helping me match with my shoulders for sure and with the back of my hands. So I'm just blending it on my forehead next. And I'm going to go for a very, very natural look today because this is a very, very natural looking skin tint. So I'm not going to do anything overly glamorous. I do want to try and build it up right here a little bit to hopefully cover some more of my redness. So we'll see. Let me just add right there. And I'm going to try just stippling it in place. And I lowered my main light a little bit so you can see a bit better. I think on days where I don't have as much redness on my skin as today, I'm going to love this coverage. But because my skin is a bit red today, I don't know, I think I'm having a reaction to something. I was scratching my face last night and that's why it's red today but because it does look a bit more red today than usual um, I do still see my redness coming through so definitely keep the amount of coverage that the skin tint gives you in mind when deciding if you're going to go for it or not like if you want your dark spots covered acne scarring or redness it's not going to do a wonderful job at covering all of that it is a very natural looking product as you can see and some of those imperfections or whatever we want to call them are going to show through a little bit i don't think this brush was the best one for this product because it ended up looking like this I went for a brush instead of a sponge because since I thought it was going to be more liquidy, I was scared that it was going to get soaked up by the sponge. But I'm going to just try and cover my redness one last time with a sponge and see if it works better that way. Okay, I think it actually does go on better with a sponge because the coverage is staying in place a bit better. I did feel like with the brush I was kind of dragging the product around a bit much and I think it might have been also lifting it. Again, not 100% covered, but this is better than what we had going on um, earlier. So I'm just literally grabbing a teeny tiny bit and adding it over my red areas. And I am actually much happier with the way this looks. I love the color 7, by the way. I look super tropical. It is my Cuban color. <laughs> so let me just keep going. I'm going to use my Charlotte Color Corrector on my BK Beauty Concealer Brush and I'm just going to add it to that inner corner and right underneath the eye here. For concealer, I'm going to use my LYS Concealer in the shade LN6. This one is also nice, radiant and lightweight. And I'm just going to blend it in with my sponge. The foundation and concealer are blended. Everything is looking really good. I'm so happy that the redness was actually covered. And for powder, I'm going to use my Evolution Powder from the Nessa Myricks, with which I just made a huge mess, by the way. Just tapping some off on my hand, and I'm just going to lightly press it under my eye and the center of my face. And pressing it right here as well as around my mouth. Close and personal, so far so good. I've got my Gucci bronzer with me and I'm just going to buff a bit of it all around the face. I blended it on my cheekbone and up towards the temple area. And with my refer number 15 brush, I'm just going to grab some of this bronzer and add it to the crease of my eye right back here extending it upwards and out and i'm also blending it in a bit towards the sides of my nose and going down the sides of my nose same thing over on this side 
under the eye as well right here and extend it back just like this nice and bronzy everywhere I'm going to use a Rare Beauty blush, like the teeniest, tiniest amount of the shade Worth. And with my Rare Beauty stippling brush, I'm just going to blend it on my cheekbone. All the way to my under eye area. Take a look right there. Let me just go ahead and apply some mascara on. I'm going to use my Gwen Stefani Can't Stop Staring Mascara. Love the way this mascara looks on my lashes. <laughs> Mascara is on and I feel like my natural look is coming together. I love it. Let's do something on the lips. I did this lip combo for a video I filmed yesterday and I loved it. So I'm going to do it again. Anastasia Muted Mauve Lip Liner. I know. I know. I use it every video. It's fine. <laughs> Here's the lip liner applied. I know. It looks beautiful. <laughs> and then in the middle of this glorious looking lip liner, I'm going to do the Prima Donna Lip Gloss from Pat McGrath, which I love. And here is the lip look. I'm obsessed. Okay, so that's it. This is my natural makeup look for the day. It is 206 right now. I truly finished putting on my foundation probably at 145, maybe even 130, but we'll go with 145 for the wear test. So eight hours of wear it would be 9.45 today. And so I'm going to show you what this looks like outside in natural lighting and then I'll check in a couple of times throughout the day um, until we get to that eight hour mark. I'll see you guys later. It is 3.25 right now. So I've had this on for around an hour and a half or so and this is what things are looking like. I think that the main thing that I'm not loving right now is that because it looks so natural, my redness is showing up specifically like right here a little bit, which this is not an area of concern for me often. Like I said, I think my face is just a bit extra red today, but whatever. If you have redness on your face, know that it will show up this very natural looking skin tint. Other than that, I feel like my skin looks nice and hydrated. I really like the finish of it. Nothing looks dry. My pores, I feel like they've looked better, but they're not bad. <laughs> <laughs> but overall so far so good i'll let you know how we're doing in a couple more hours it's 5 14 i came from outside just now i was helping my husband with the lawn i am sweaty i am hot i am about to shower from like here down because we just came out with the bright idea of going out to a restaurant that i love going it's called buya in atlanta it's a spanish restaurant fantastic if you have a booyah restaurant near you i highly recommend it anyways we're going there and the foundation so far is still looking like it looked before even through the sweats and the heat it's super cloudy but it was still very very hot so yeah is this tmi i don't know the foundation good me hot <laughs> see you guys later Totally worth mentioning that if it wasn't for the wear test of this video, I would totally be redoing my makeup or taking this off because I feel disgusting. Hopefully that feeling goes away as I dry down, but I am not taking my makeup off because I don't want to ruin the wear test. <laughs> I'm outside again. I'm getting wet. It's raining. We're about to go to the restaurant. The world ended since you've seen me. We had a thunderstorm and half of my patio um, trees are gone. So I'll show you footage of that. But the foundation is still <laughs> looking good. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later once again. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. <laughs> Actually, I do. It's like 6.40 now. Foundation, good. Everything else, questionable. We are on our way to the restaurant. <laughs> and um, I have a guest to tell me how the foundation looks today. So what do you think? I think you look uh, glowy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks glowy Looks good, still. Good. After all that sweat and um, all those hours, what time is it? It is... 7.42. So I've been wearing it for six hours now, I think. So yeah. See you guys later. I'm back home and I have news for you. As you can see, the foundation is still fabulous. Electricity at my house, not so much. <laughs> so I can't finish the video upstairs where I usually do with my ring light and all of that because 
we don't have electricity at home. Thankfully, my husband has this Jackery battery thing and we can connect a few things to it. But um, yeah, that's the issue tonight. You guys saw the storm. We just saw that they were trying to fix some cables outside. So hopefully we'll have electricity back soon. But anyways, honestly, my final thoughts on this foundation or skin tint from Hourglass is that it actually wore beautifully all throughout the day do i wish it had like a teeny tiny bit more coverage maybe but like it has a good enough coverage to be honest with you i put it through the ringer today and it did not budge so it gets like a 9 out of 10 from me i did really like it it does feel very very hydrating and it wears beautifully throughout the day if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I love you all so much and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.